Hi, I'm Jim from Mercedes-Benz. I'm going to show you how to get the most from your vehicle's automatic transmission. Like all of the performance systems in your Mercedes-Benz, its transmission is engineered to be sporty, smooth, and efficient. It even offers you the control and fun of manual shifting. Mercedes-Benz offers several transmissions depending on model. Most have seven forward speeds and our newest offers nine. They're all designed to be in the right gear at the right time for quick acceleration on demand and efficiency on the open road. Models come with a variety of gear selectors. Some are on the console, others are near the steering wheel. All indicate which gear you've selected with a display near the gauges. When you're in drive, you'll see D and a number. This lets you know which gear the car is using. On every model, you need to step on the brake to shift out of park. The direct select electronic shift lever near the steering wheel makes gear selection fingertip easy. To shift from park to drive, push the lever down past the point of resistance. To shift into reverse, press it up past the point of resistance. Your selected gear is shown with a box around it. Small arrows next to the other gears let you know how and when they can be selected. To shift to neutral, push the lever up or down, only to the resistance point, and to select park, press the button on the tip of the selector. The vehicle also shifts to park automatically if you open the driver's door when you're stopped, in any gear. But it's best to shift to park and set the parking brake yourself. For models with the leather trimmed gear selector in the console, you simply move the lever through a gated path, from park at the forward position, then reverse, neutral, and drive. To shift from park to reverse, step on the brake and move the shift lever slightly to the right as you pull it back to R. To shift from R to N and N to D, move the lever a notch to the left as you pull it back. In the drive position, the touch shift feature lets you manually shift through the gears by tapping the shifter side to side. Each tap to the left, toward minus, shifts down a gear. Each tap to the right, or plus, shifts up. And if you push to the right and hold it for one second, it brings you directly back to D. On some AMG models, the e-select shifter on the console works much like the direct select lever on the steering wheel. Pull the lever back past the point of resistance for D. Push it forward past the detent for R. To shift to park, press the button marked P. It will also shift to park automatically if you open the driver's door, but again, it's best to engage it yourself. Most models feature a pair of shift paddles behind the steering wheel spokes. The paddles let you change gears without taking your hands from the wheel. Each pull of the left paddle, marked minus, selects the next lower gear. Each tap of the right, or plus, paddle shifts up one gear. As you drive, the shift points are adapted to your driving style, but many models also let you select from two or more modes via a button on the console. The mode letter is displayed next to the gear range in the gauge cluster. The standard mode is called E or C for eco or controlled efficiency. It engages automatically every time you start the engine. It's set up to optimize fuel economy and shift comfort, and for more secure footing in slippery weather. S is for sport mode, and it's geared for quicker response. The car shifts at higher RPM, and in some models, starts out in first gear instead of the more economical second gear. Some models also have an M setting on the button. This is a true manual mode that stays engaged until you select another mode. For models with Agility Select, there are even more choices. Watch the separate video for that system to learn more. When you're in drive and use the paddles, you activate a temporary manual mode. The gear indicator no longer says D, just the number of the gear you've selected. You can downshift to help hold your speed down a hill or to accelerate faster. And you can upshift too. The car will stay in the gear you select until one of these things occurs. If you go too slow or too fast for that gear, in this case, it will shift up or down into another gear, but remain in manual mode. If you don't touch the paddles for several seconds, fully automatic shifting resumes, unless you're in the middle of a curve or descending a hill and using the gear to provide engine braking. Or if you use the gear selector or mode button, you can also restore fully automatic shifting whenever you'd like. Just squeeze and hold the plus paddle for about one second till the D reappears in the display. Or with the direct select lever, tap it down toward D again. 
Anytime you're in drive and you want the car to shift directly to the best gear for passing, squeeze the left paddle for about one second. When you're done, you can manually shift up or restore automatic shifting like I just described. After parking, select Park with the shifter and set the parking brake. If your car has an electric parking brake button, it'll release automatically when you drive off. There might be situations where you want the car to stay neutral when it's off, like an automatic car wash or emergency towing. You'll find how to do this in your operator's manual, along with more information about your car's gear selector. If you have further questions, your Mercedes-Benz dealer will be happy to help. Thanks for watching.